It's time for a struggle challenge. Let's see what you've got today. Many people in the Struggle Meals group want to know what to do with this one ingredient. One struggler writes, I'd never heard of them, but then I read up on them. Then I saw them for sale at my grocery store. I'm excited to try it. Very mysterious. Let's find out what it is. It's a kombucha, how cute. I don't actually cook a lot with these either, but I do have some ideas. Since this is a winter time squash, since the weather is probably a little bit chillier, why don't we do something that's hearty and lovely? Let's use it in place of potato in some homemade gnocchi. That's what we're doing. Check this out. Boom, into the oven until it's soft. So we're just gonna do a brown butter sage sauce. We'll hit it with a little parm egg. Also, I'm feeling like cinnamon would just be like a nice little spice to get going in there. I think we've got everything we need to set ourselves up for success. So let's check on that kabocha. You can see it's cooked. Look at how soft it is. It's still pretty hot, but it's cool enough that I can touch it and that's great. So let's crack an egg in here. Sort of get the wet happening first. Egg is important because as it cooks, it's gonna be the binder that holds everything together. We've got our kabocha right here. You know, we can show a bunch of surface area right now and cool it down as fast as possible. I'm gonna try to put about a cup of the kabocha in here. Avoiding the seeds. It doesn't need to be like super smooth. Something like that. We're gonna add a little salt here, flavor this. Here's where the finesse comes in. I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on top and we're sort of gonna like fold it in, okay? And I'm now changing my mind immediately and I'm gonna put flour on the counter and we're just gonna do this here. When I make gnocchi, I try really hard to handle it as little as possible. I'm gonna bring it together till it's just together. There's no kneading. This comes out, it looks craggly, it's all fine. I'm working a little bit of flour into it. It's like falling apart here, it's just because it's a little too wet. So what am I doing? I'm mixing more flour in. I'm just kind of pancaking it out, putting it on top, not kneading it, but folding it. And I feel like I can make it happen now. Flatten this out, get some flour on top, and now we're gonna cut some snakes here. I always find it easier to roll these out from a pancake than from a ball. So I'm barely rolling this. Here's the deal with gnocchi. When you put them in the water, they really swell up. So in general, smaller than you want them because they're gonna increase in size. Let's make our brown butter sage real quick. We're gonna throw like a fair bit of butter in here. Water's boiling, I'm gonna salt it. So here's my method. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop under and drop in. This prevents a lot of splattering. I'm just gonna give this a little bottoms up stir and the gnocchi will float to the top when they're ready. Let's get some sage crackling. We're just gonna throw it in to the hot butter. If you don't have fresh sage, you could use dried sage. Rosemary's delicious. Sage and squash are like a pretty good combo, you know? All right, the butter has browned. So I'm gonna lower the heat. The gnocchi have floated to the top already. That took like two seconds. Here we go, we're gonna finish it right here. So it's gonna splatter. So drain as much water as you can. Wow, right away you can see the gnocchi are getting some brown butter bits on there. We'll hit it with a little parm and then toss it quickly so that it goes throughout and then do it again. I might have done too much butter. With a tiny bit of water. When you mix the butter with the pasta water, it tends to get a little more flowy and also less greasy. The colors are gorgeous. You got the fried sage happening in there. It's looking pretty good. All right, there it is. I gotta say though, I can see still there's like pure butter fat on the bottom. To me, that makes it look a little greasy. Obviously there's some imperfections happening with the size and shapes of the gnocchi. So both of those are detractors. But overall, I think it looks very appetizing. Let's go with a nine on looks. There's room for improvement, but it looks great. As I pierce through it, I can feel how soft they are. And that's because I didn't work the dough so much. So it's not a super compressed dough, i.e. it's a light dough. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just a little too much butter for me, but I, this is pretty damn perfect. I'm gonna go with a nine on flavor also. I mean, it is completely savory. It is chewy, but it's holding its shape well. Nine and nine is 18. That's an A minus, that's a 90%. So I'd say we crushed this challenge. And if you're looking for another way to use up the kabochas, give this a try. It's fun, it's different. Thanks for this challenge.